Hey, hello, Seymour. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, Superintendent. Then what do you have there? It smells delicious. It's a Pecorino di Osilo, a traditional Italian cheese that's aged for at least 60 days. Would you like to try some? Wow, Seymour. That does sound delicious. Can I have a glass of wine to go with it? Of course. Let me get you a glass of wine to enjoy with the cheese. God, why did this happen? I was looking forward to that all day. What am I going to do now? I can't cook dinner without Picorino di Osilo. Maybe I should just order a takeout or something. No way. I won't let this ruin my night. I'll think of something else to make. Hey, I could try making a new recipe with a different cheese. Yes, I'll look up some recipes online right now. All right, let's see. This one looks good. Roasted vegetable and goat cheese pasta. Perfect. Yes. Uh... I've got a backup plan. God may have burned my Pecorino di Osilo, but I won't let it ruin my night. Looking out the window, I have found the inspiration to replace the burnt Pecorino di Osilo with Lambic. While looking outside, I noticed a shop that sells Lambic. It will be a great substitute for the burnt Pecorino di Osilo. I have a devilish plan. I will climb out the window to buy this replacement. I need to figure out how to prepare this substitute. The Lambic is a sour beer that needs to be aged for at least a year. It has a tangy and acidic flavor, similar to the burnt Pecorino di Osolo. I will climb back in through the window with this ingredient and surprise everyone with my culinary skills. Skinner, what are you doing climbing back in through the window? Oh, um, I was just stretching my legs. Skinner, that doesn't explain the smoke coming from the kitchen. I... Evasive. Uh, steam. That looks like smoke to me. I swear. It's just steam. Trust me, it's going to be amazing. You'll see. Skinner, this meal doesn't taste like Pecorino di Osilo, as you promised. Ah, uh, uh, yes. You see, Pecorino di Osilo is a regional dialect for Lambic. It's a common mistake, don't you know? I've never heard of that before, Skinner. And even if it were true, the taste is completely different. I assure you, it's the same thing. Maybe the chef just had an off day? I don't think so, Skinner. You've gone to a lot of trouble to make this meal. I would appreciate it if you could serve what you promised. Fine. I'll go check the kitchen. Please don't judge me harshly, Chalmers. What the hell is going on here? There's a fire in the kitchen. Calm down. It's just the Loveland Frog. Don't worry, I've got this under control. The Loveland Frog in the kitchen? That doesn't make any sense. I know what I'm doing. You don't need to question me. Show me, then. Let me see what's going on for myself. Fine, but you're just going to get in the way. Skinner, is everything okay? You seem on edge. <laughs> it just feels too real this time. Don't worry, Chalmers. Let's just enjoy our lunch and forget about it for now. Feel right, I'll try to relax. But can we talk more about this when I get home? Of course, Chalmers. We can catch up anytime. Goodbye, Skinner. Take care, my friend. I'll see myself out.